day two of me committing to do a video every day. Number 24 on the Bangkok list to rule them all. Forget me not. That's that's a weird name. And this just goes on and on and on. You can just get lost inside this place. And then where do we go up from here? Today I gotta give you number 24 on the Bangkok list to rule them all, but there's a couple problems. It's about to pour rain and I'm battling a vicious hangover, but I've committed to doing this for you guys. I don't know what I've gotten myself into. A video every single day. I guess rain or shine, we gotta do it. And I got an idea to battle the hangover. Nothing beats a hangover like a good Eggs Benedict, at least for me. What's your favorite hangover food? Drop a comment below. I'm curious what you guys do to, to battle the morning after. I like to come here. This is a place called Breakfast Story, and they just opened a new location right here in Asok. This place is awesome. Sukhumvit Soy 11, but that's not where we're going today. In fact, this didn't even make it on the top 25 list, but I'm gonna give it an honorable mention because this street behind me, it's awesome to come at night seven days a week. You can have great times up here. This place behind me is called Hemingway's. Great pub, good for dinner, drinks. It's a Bangkok institution. And right beside it is the lush rooftop. And this was the scene of the crime from last night. But enough of that. I'm working for you guys. So let's uh, make our way to number 24 on the list. I should tell you that this video is part of a series. Mark Weems released a video 10 years ago of the top 25 things to do in Bangkok, but a lot has changed in the last 10 years. And so I'm gonna show you all 25 spots in the list and what they're like today. And then I'm gonna re-rank them. And when we get to number one on the list, Mark Weems himself is gonna join me for that video. In fact. I called him just this morning to start setting it all up. Hi, Mark Weens, please. Oh, Mark. Yeah, Chris Parker here. Yeah, Chris Parker? No worries, man. You'd probably know me from my YouTube channel, fellow YouTubers. Uh, channel name's retired working for you. That's R E. Yeah, anyway, don't worry about it, man. I got some exciting news for you. I want to invite you to be in a video with me. I'm doing this amazing series. I think it'd do wonders to boost your popularity and... Mark? Mark? Looks like we got cut off there, but, but don't worry. It was just a, a technical glitch. I'm going to try him again in a few days, and uh, we will get him for number one. But for now, I'm standing right outside number 24. The historical Pak Klong Talat, or Bangkok's central flower market, is number 24. Mark, at number 24, you had Pad Klong Talat, AKA the flower market, and I'm standing right in the middle of this place. So I probably would have left this off the list altogether. But there's been a new addition to this neighborhood in uh, just the last couple of years. Definitely since Mark made his list 10 years ago. And I'm gonna end the video at that spot. And because of that place, this definitely deserves to stay on the list at number 24. So I'm gonna pull out the green Sharpie and leave it. Pad Klong Talat is number 24 on my new list. Talat means market. And if there's one thing Bangkok does better than anywhere in the world, it's run a cool market. And this place is absolutely huge. It's got tons of flora and fauna. You got some daffodils? Orchids by the bushel. Of course, you got roses. 
What the hell are these ones? Does anybody know? I don't know. Sunflowers? Forget-me-nots. Forget-me-not? That's, that's a weird name. I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, this place is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and they actually say the best time to come here is like the middle of the night. That's when it's at its most active, like three or 4 a.m. But you could combine number 24 on the list with number 25 from yesterday and make an amazing morning itinerary. <laughs> And this just goes on and on and on. This market's located right next to the Chaupaya River. I got here by taking the MRT. That's the underground subway. You get off at, I think, Sanam Chai Station. Sanam Chai Station. There's also a boat pier nearby. And this place is actually really close to a few other things that are gonna be revealed on the list as I continue to count it down. You can plan to spend a couple hours here easily. There's street food if you get hungry, but I promised you guys this bonus place that's in this neighborhood and it's brand new since Mark Weens did his list. And to enjoy it, I think I'm gonna partake in one of my favorite activities in all of Thailand. Leo at a Thailand 7-Eleven. Does life get any better than this? Well, yes it does. In just about five minutes. A few minutes later. So that's the end of the market. You're gonna want to come around here. You'll see a big temple over there. Give you a little look at what you're gonna find. And then I think you want to walk up here. Okay, we're looking for a bridge. I don't think this is the bridge that we're looking for though. I think there's two bridges parallel. This isn't the one you want. The question is how do I get to the other one? I think I might actually have to go back down and through that park. Ah. Oh, it's flooding here. The whole river is flooding down here. Now's a good time to tell you who this episode in the series is dedicated to. My whole channel's history, I scoured the analytics and did my research. And the 24th biggest fans of retired working for you are South Africa. Shout out to Theo. Shout out to all you South Africans who watch the channel. Oh no, I came up the wrong place. I want to be up there where they're sitting. I'm gonna save you all kinds of heartache. Look for this little statue in this little park. And then where do we go up from here? Oh, here's finally the stairs I was looking for, just in the nick of time. So this is the Chao Praia Sky Bridge, and, and this place just opened a couple of years ago, in June of 2020. It's a pretty cool new feature in Bangkok. You got 360 degree views of the Chao Praia River. It's an amazing place to come up for sunset, and you're, you'll find all kinds of ties. They got like theater seating here, and there's all kinds of th local ties who are coming up. It's a very family friendly activity, so feel free to bring the kids on today's activity. And being up here, it just makes me realize why I'm doing this list. So much has changed in Bangkok in the last 10 years. This place is brand new. Almost everywhere we're gonna go, ha it has something new about it. I can't wait to update you guys because I know there's so many of you who are getting ready to book your first trip back here in a long time. So even though the sunset isn't great, I'm about to get rained on. I'm gonna enjoy this Leo anyway, and I'm gonna keep working for you guys every day. Hangovers, rain, whatever comes, I'm doing it for you guys. So uh, if you haven't seen number 25, check it out right here. 
Uh, if you haven't seen number 23, check it out here unless you're following along live, in which case I'll see you tomorrow.